What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Omega Ruby Egglock. In the last episode we did the Primal Groudon event and we defeated the one, the only Primal Groudon. We didn't defeat it, we caught it. I'm going to be hatching the egg for it later on in the episode. But first up we are going to be taking on the Pseudopolis City Gym before heading over to... Okay, I've got to remember how to do this now. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I fucked up already. Whoops. Just going to leave and we didn't see that guys. We've got a... Take it slow, but uh, we're going to defeat the Sutopolis City Gym of Vain Luck and then head over to Victory Road where we shall uh, take on or start the Victory Road, I guess. That makes no sense at all, is it? This is no good either, is it? Oh, no, wait, it'll be alright. We got this. We got this, guys. First stage is done. Do this. Okay, it's hard to do, guys, because I don't use a guide for this. I do it off, I guess, my own memory. I don't know if that's any good or not. We shall find out when we get there. But I hope you're all doing well. That's all good. I'm doing. I'm doing you know, alright today, you know. Just recording some more of the egglock, you know, the casual stuff. The usual stuff, you know. Uh, What's up, lady? How you doing? But we have Sparky up front to defeat these water type Pokemon, so it shouldn't really be any too much of a, a worry. Uh, it's still a Pikachu. I, I don't think I'm going to evolve it. I think I'm just going to go for the power rather than um, defense. So hopefully we can get some one-hit kills off here. Depends what level they are here. This thing is level 43, so we're two levels higher. But hopefully Sparky can get a nice one-hit kill with double attack. So it's basically a huge power, but for special attack and physical attack. So, you know, it shouldn't be too hard for Sparky to just sweep through this whole gym. As long as it's faster than the opposing Pokemon. Minus it might be a problem because that thing is pretty defensive, but we'll see. We are. We'll, we'll get. We'll, we'll deal with it when we get there, guys. Okay. I I dare not use the circle path for this at all. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Let's just do this battle quickly. You came all the way here, but you won't get to see Wallace. Not if you used to me, you won't. Well, uh, I don't, you know, sorry to disappoint you, young lady, but I'm not going to lose to you. I'm just going to defeat you quickly. You've got a love disc, for God's sake. That's not hard to defeat at all. Uh, I would say I'm going to use Nuzzle on it, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, so I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt here again. And we got 14 PP left on it. We shouldn't have any trouble. And we got left berries too, and loads of Max Ethers and stuff as well. So should not be a problem at all. I did pop over to the Move Deleter in Lilicove after last episode of finished recording, and I got rid of Dive on... Um, on Prince because you don't need dive anymore but I will teach you waterfall in a second and I also got rid of cuts on Gliscor because who the hell needs that so that's all good there and Cedra's just been taken out as well and that's level 46 for Sparky as I said I'm just gonna I'm gonna solo Sparky through this gym uh, and then I guess we'll hope we have to switch out when when if we get there if we have to actually so I need to just check this uh, okay so if I want to finish there Okay, I should be fine doing this. Go up here. I'm gonna do this. And. Ba -ba 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 -da, we did it! And hello, Wallace. Let's go. I'm not even gonna bother to battle the rest of the trainers in the gym. Just gonna go straight for Wallace. One of the only. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Wallace, the gym leader of Sutopolis City. Okay, Wallace, what you got for me? There's something about you, a difference in your demeanor. What would that be? I think I sense that in you. What happened inside the Cave of Origin and what you did there? Our upcoming battle will make all that clear. Now show me, show me the power you wield with your Pokemon, and I turn and I and I in turn shall present you with the performance of Illusions in Water. It shows you as ass, brilliant. By me and my Pokemon. Okay, Wallace, turn down. You're not that good. You've got four Pokemon. I know that. Um, Seeking, Love Disk, possibly Wish Cash, and Myotic. I think it's just four he's got, isn't it? That's from my, what I remember at least. Off the top of my head, no five Pokemon. He must have. What else has he got then? Can't have a Ludicolo, I know that much. Um, no, actually. Well, this Love Disc is going to get wiped out from Sparky. No doubt about it, because it's a damn Love Disc. Um, ooh, what else could we get here? Wish Cash. There's Wish Cash coming in. I'm going to get to Prince here. Prince has Grass Knot because we talked to it for the Primal Groudon battle, so Prince should be able to make short work of this Wish Cash here. Wish Cash isn't a heavy Pokemon, but it is four times effective, you got to remember, so. We shouldn't, shouldn't have much of a problem here. Uh, obviously, there's only three moves because we've got rid of dive, but I will teach it waterfall after we get the HM for it. 
Not even doing half damage, but Mud Sport is going to ooh, weaken the power of Electro type moves. That is actually going to affect us because we have an Electro type and we're using it for this battle. Okay. First time one of those moves is actually coming uh, handy for an enemy team. Earthquake. We are pretty physically defensive as seen in the last battle against Primal Groudon. Uh, and they're going to heal up here. Yep, there's your Hyper Potion. Wish Cash is back to full health. Unfortunately. What can you do about it though? Grass Knot from Prince is going to do just under half. Uh, we can take another move, whatever it is, even if it's another Earthquake. Get that off there, boom, and then we're faster so we can finish him off on the last turn as well. Earthquake shouldn't kill us unless it's a crit. It's going to do 62 down to, yeah, 42 damage. They can't have Aqua Jet, I'm pretty sure Wish Cash doesn't get Aqua Jet via Egg Moves or whatever, so... Because it's hardly a fast Pokemon, but it is then gone. Unfortunately, Prince is sort of screwed because it's on low health. Mud Sport's gone, that's fine, we can go back to Sparky again. Go back to Sparky. We could go to um, Feria because uh, Celio is coming out as an Ice type or part Ice type. But Sparky should be able to take it, I think. So it's a Cecilia, that's what I, that's what I missed. A Celio. It is bigger than Sparky, so that's something to watch out for. But Sparky is not afraid. Not afraid at all. Get so wrecked right there. But I think I'm going to use Feria to take out the, uh, the Minor Tick because if we Mega Evolve, Mega Evolve. If we Mega Evolve Feria, it loses the Rock type, so they can't actually get any damage on us. Particularly, um, yeah. So I don't know what other moves Malatech actually has apart from Hydro Pump, possibly or Scold or whatever it's got. So we should be fine. Uh, it's one level higher than us. So, but we're gonna go. I'm gonna use pff, use Iron Head, even though it's resisted. I'm still gonna use it because it's my only stab move. So, but here's the Mega Agron pulling through. Boom! Here it is. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's go, boys and girls. Hydro Pump. That's what it's got. Well, again, we're not weak to it now, so we should be able to take it pretty well. Okay, we did have half damage, so that's not brilliant, but we are going to do... Oh, dear. <laughs> Hydro Pump only has 5 PP, though, so that's something to watch out for. Uh, Hyper Potion there. Boom for Feria. Thank you very much. Get healed up, and then we'll see what the Minotic is going to do next turn, where it's going to um, Hydro Pump. We'll do something else. Hydro Pump. We're going to avoid it. Awesome. That's fine. Uh, I could really superpower here, because they haven't got any... Um, they haven't got any physical moves I didn't think so superpower is a possibility but I'm gonna play it safe I think no berry there I need to heal up again but that's three PP gone on a hydro pump now so there's only two left so really if we want to stall out it's not gonna take much longer to stall out um, there's a fourth hydro pump and then they can only use it once more so that's all good we're gonna take it pretty well anyway obviously if we were weak to it if we were still a normal aggron we would indeed be dead by now uh, and I wouldn't have sent it out in the first place if I couldn't mega it but here we are, last Hydro Pump coming. There we are. Now, do I heal up after this? I think I should really heal up, just in case. But I don't know what it's going to do now. It's, I think it's got Recover on it. But I want to see what its other three moves are, because it's only used Hydro Pump so far. If it's still got a Hydro Pump PP, I'm pretty. I'm going to be pretty angry. Nope, there's the Recover, yep. That's indeed what it's got there. It's got a Recover. I want to see if it's got any physical moves, because if it hasn't got any physical moves, I can just use Super Action of it. Okay, Ice Beam, I'm going to just tank that out like a boss. Boom. Yep, doing a whole 20 damage. And I can just Iron Head for the win now. Yeah, I can't really use Super Power because it does lower my physical attack as well. So, you know, that would make me pretty shit. Um, and Recover is going to get quite annoying. And we're not faster, so we can't get any flinches on Iron Head. So it's going to get a pretty annoying here. Because we can't do much damage, actually. But Disarming Voice, I'm going to take like a boss. Boom. A hole, yep. <laughs> What, like, 11? No, 8, 6, 9 damage. Oh, 9 damage from Milotic there. The power, the power pulling through right now. Recover. This is what's going to get annoying with this Milotic. Well, we could get a crit soon. Hopefully we get a crit this Iron Head with any luck. Boom, get the crit. No, no crit. Okay, I'm going to use mine on my X attacks. Why not? X attack right here. Get this Feria up on a up boosted on an attack stat. Recover. Okay, that's fine. You can go back to full health points. I'm not going to be too bothered about you there. And I'm just going to start hitting these iron heads with the plus one attack. Powerful plus one attack, guys. <laughs> okay, Ice Beam is the more powerful of the two moves they have left. As long as they don't freeze as well, it's not too much to worry about, though. Iron Head is going to do just less than half health points now, so that's actually quite good. They're going to recover, though. If we can get a crit right now, that'd be awesome. Because, uh, well, <laughs> obviously, we can just bop them out like this, but... I'm not going to get crit. That is resisted. If I use Super Power, I can probably do a lot of damage with it, to be honest. Um, but they're going to keep recovering. Recover only has 15 PP, I think, Recover has. 
So again, we could sort that out fairly easily, but um, may as well keep iron heading. Another recover. Oh my god. Wallace has one of the assiest teams in the game. Because of his recover. Oh my god. Let's just. Oh, there we are. There's a crit. Well, now we're slightly ahead because we can do pretty much half damage. So we can pretty much counter the recover ish. Um, so we're going to get down to almost the same amount of health points they're at. Not quite the same, but almost the same. And if they don't use recover this time, we can actually take them out. But I'm pretty sure they are. Yep, there's a recover again. Oh my god. Wallace basically makes it so you have to use a Pokemon that can take uh, Milotic out in a one hit, pretty much. Otherwise, Recover is just a real absolute bitch. Is the Recover? Yep, there it is again! Oh my god, Wallace! Please, Wallace, please, Wallace, please, please, please. Iron Head, boom. Uh, screw it, he's going to use Recover, so I'm just going to see how much damage Dragon Rush does. Oh, no, he's not going to use Recover, interesting. Uh, but I'm, I want to see how much damage Dragon Rush does anyway. Here it goes. Bop. And bop. It's actually going to finish them off. Awesome. So, Dragon Rush is better than Iron Head in the first place, but oh well. We got it anyway. I didn't want to use it. Sea King's coming in, so now I can actually switch back out to Sparky. Not nerfy. Please, not nerfy. Sparky can go out and it can uh, Thunderbolt it and get that nice one hit kill. Hopefully, at least. I mean, we have double attack, double special attack, so we should have no trouble here because we are two uh, levels higher as well. I can't see a Sea King being faster than me, and Sparky is going to come on, and yep. That's the Seeking Gong, RIP Seeking, and that is that done there. Awesome. Thank you very much. Leader Wallace was defeated. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wallace. I absolutely owned you, wrecked you. I realize now your authenticity and magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find much joy in having met you in your Pokemon, and you have proven yourself worthy of the Rain Badge. Accepted. Haven't yet, etc. The Rain Badge sounds like something, you know, you just get in in UK. <laughs> the Rain Badge. There's too much rain here. And so you never forget the battle we shared. He is going to give me HMO5, Waterfall. Thank you very much, Wallace. It's very nice of you. The hate time I gave you contains Waterfall. Okay. What are you going to say, dude? We've had many paths to open to you now. One path will take you to the Pokemon League. It's the goal that all trades at home inspire to reach after retaining all eight badges. Evergrand. Bum, 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 bum. And yeah, we need to return to Boach. But, Boach? Boach? Yeah. Return to Boach. That makes sense, doesn't it? We're going to return to Boach, <laughs> Birch, and get the National Dex quickly before we then head over to Evergrande City. I am going to teach, as I said earlier, Prince Waterfall very quickly now. Boom, boom, boom. Because Prince has actually got higher physical attack than special, so Waterfall is actually quite powerful for us to use. So that's going to be quite good indeed. Okay, let's leave. I did use the Eon Flute to get back to Lily Cove, because why the hell would I run when I have the Eon Flute now? Here comes Latios, even though Latios is in the PC and you know never used... <laughs> Apparently we have a strong bond. Who knows? But there we are. Let's fly off now and we'll go over to Little Root Town. Boom. 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 We could actually get like loads of different Mirage or we can go to a Mirage Island and catch a Pokemon there. But I'm not going to because that seems a bit cheap in my opinion. You know, you could use it to get loads of different Pokemon. Um, so I'm just going to keep it. Because I can go to each different legendary location as well and catch them there and say, oh, you know, I can, have, I can trade another Pokemon for this. But I'm not going to. It seems a bit cheap in my opinion. Uh, since I'm here in Little Root, I'm just going to grab the Mutonite. X it is in this game. I'm right here, so I may as well. And then we'll head into see Birch and uh, grab this national Pokedex. Hello, Birch. How you doing? Yes, give me yes more Pokemon in the home region, and he's now going to give me the national Pokedex. Boom! The national Pokedex has been added to Matt's Pokedex. Awesome. Okay, dude. Okay, okay. Yeah, all that ecosystems and stuff. Nice to know. And now let's fly over to Evergrand City. Except we're not actually going to go to Evergrand. Uh, we can fly to the route before. I don't think I can fly to Evergrand itself though. Because I didn't get out the waterfall quite yet. But we'll see. Boom. Let's go boys. Cha. We are free and we shall fly away. Boom. I love flying on the Latias and Lat uh, on, on Mega Latias and Mega Latios. I may as well spam B though because that's the same thing we can use. Uh, as I said I can't fly to Evergrand as you can see. So I shall have to go to the route before it. Route 129. Boom. Shouldn't be too far to go to the city though. And all we need to do is get up, go up the waterfall and we can actually start Victory Road today. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Let's do it. Boom. Okay. Route 129. And let's get surfing to the right-hand side to get ourselves to Evergrande City. I think it's Route 129 at least. Um, or do we have to... Route 128. Okay, it's actually Route 128 apparently. 
I just got confused, but oh well. There's a tuba there. There's this guy here. I have to skip, but there is a tuba there. I have to watch out for it as well. I haven't battled any of these people. The only people I used for grinding were about around the Most Deep City-ish, and I was already leveled up by then, so... Because I had a experience point powers too. But, let's get up this waterfall here. We shall indeed get up the waterfall, and there we are, Prince. The little Fiona is going to climb me up the waterfall. It's actually a pretty powerful waterfall. I don't get what these caves are for, though. Like, there's no purpose behind them. It's really annoying me. But, I'm going to head in the Pokemon Center quickly, just to heal up. Uh, plus, because, you know, I haven't healed up since the Primal Growled on battle. <laughs> Casual. And then we'll wake up, make our way inside Victory Road to get going and see what we can go from there. Okay. I should probably see what moves I can teach Nerfy, uh, to be honest, since you know, he has got a move slot free now. Um, Seeker power, nah. I'm just scrolling up until I see an able false swipe. I mean, that'd be good for Pokemon, but nah. Uh, Rock Tomb you could learn, I guess. Sandstorm, Double Team, Dig. I mean, we have Earthquake now, so it's not too much of a thing. Roost, that could be good for Nerfy, actually. No, we can just use potions anyway. I mean, I don't see the point of using stuff like that in a Egglock. Bulk up, can't learn, unfortunately. Okay, there's not much I can learn here. Um, so I may as well teach you something I can learn with, like Rock 2, I guess. You can learn Thief, but it has knockoffs, so there's not much point for Thief. Steel Wing, let's teach a Steel Wing. Since it has wings and they can become steel apparently, so let's teach a Steel Wing. That's actually, actually no, it's not the only Steel type we have on our team, because we have a Farrier. But let's quickly head inside Victory Road, catch a Pokemon there, and we can come out and hatch two Pokemon out here, which is pretty sweet. Let's get cycling ba, 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 into Victory Road. New area, so we can catch new Pokemon here. We already caught a Pokemon in Evergrande City, so... Because we did that in the huge... Egg, the hatch extravaganza is during that we did it. But inside we go. Okay. Let's catch ourselves a Pokemon. I'll probably hatch at the Pokemon League, to be honest, before we go inside there. Um, so I might as well just keep on going after I catch a Pokemon. I love how Pikachu has strength. It's a bit ridiculous, in my opinion, how Pikachu can learn strength, but you know... Just imagine little Pikachu pushing huge boulders. Get ourselves a what's this gonna be here? A full heal. I mean, I guess that'll come in helpful for the uh, for the Pokemon League. I don't know how we're gonna get on against Pokemon League because we are. I mean, right now we're level 45, which isn't particularly the best level to challenge the league at. So I'll probably have to do a bit of grinding before we head inside and make, make everyone level 50, possibly level 55. I'm not sure, um, but I guess we'll see after that. But Luke is gonna come out first. And we can Ice Punch this Siglyph to death. See, that now the, the trainers are the same level as us, so we probably will have to do some grinding before the league. Otherwise, I'll get destroyed on Sydney. Air Slash. Well, we are good in special defense, so yeah, I'm not too scared by that, to be honest. And I can Thief to get rid of you. Finish you off, Siglyph. Boom. Get bopped. Thank you very much indeed. Very much indeed, EOs. Awesome. There we are. And here comes a Rhyperia. Hot damn. Okay, Prince, you're up on this. Let's see how more. I don't know, do I use Waterfall, or do I use Surf, or do I use Grass or not? Because they're all doing 4 times damage. We get Stab on Waterfall and Surf, but has this thing's defense higher than its special defense is the problem. I'm going to go for Grass Knot, just to see the extra power we can get with the weight of it, because it is a pretty heavy Pokemon. And, yep, that thing is going to almost want to kill it, actually. Not quite want to kill. Stone Edge, we're nice and... Whoa, no, bro! The crits, ready? The crits, of course. Well, there goes our Surfer and our Waterfaller, so we can't get through... Here today we have to replace it with another Pokemon. Absolutely brilliant. Why did you have to get a crit, Rhyperia? Why get the crit? If it wasn't a crit, we'd be absolutely fine. I guess it's powerful, but we'd still be fine. But no, you had to get a damn crit. Or well, knock off and get rid of you. Oh, Prince. Prince was on the team for ages, man. And it was the one that helped us get through the promo ground on our last episode. Prince, no. Not Prince. I am definitely have to do some grinding before the Pokemon League now. So we won't get, we'll be able to get through the whole of Victory Road today because we have no Surfer at the moment. Because uh, Prince is dead. I mean, we have a Surfer still, but we can't really use it. So uh, I'm going to put her up front now. We'll see how far we can get through. Um, and then we'll head back, I guess, and see who we can put on the team instead. I mean, we also need to catch Pokemon still because that hasn't happened. But let's get some battles, more battles done, and then we'll see where we get after this. Okay, Ace Trainer Hope. You've got a Froslass. Get bopped. Get so bopped by my lovely little Hanu, my lovely Pyro, who's going to burn your Froslass to death. It's level 47, hot damn. Higher level than all of my Pokemon, so indeed I will be doing some grinding before next episode. <laughs> Definitely. But hopefully Flamethrower can take it in one or two. Yep, one it killed. Goodbye, Froslass. Absolutely bopped in the face. 
absolutely bopped. Almost leveled up too. Your battle style is fantastic. Thank you very much, Hope. It is indeed. I can't deny that. Okay. Let's go on down through here. And we're down into the dark section of Victory Road. Except no one cares about the dark section of Victory Road. Because it's not even that dark. Uh, I'm doing it completely the wrong way. Because it won't actually let me pass if I do it that way. So I have to go here. There we are. Finally we have a Pokemon. Okay. So the Pokemon for Victory Road is going to be a Laron. No, it's going to be a Medicham. Oh, God damn you, Medicham. We could have had one of you. You're just taunting us now, Medicham. What level are you? 38. That's pretty cool. Okay. Pokemon. Let me switch in. I'm going to send Nerfy in since Nerfy is going to be pretty darn physically defensive now. Haven't seen Gliscor in battle too much. Uh, it hasn't had to take many hits. So let's see how well it can take these hits. Acupressure. Oh, not now. Not now, you stupid thing. Is it going to be defense? Okay. Well, that's all right, because I can go for an x scissor and it's not going to do much damage at all, is it? x scissor, go. Yep, take like a boss. Psych up, I have no stat changes. Does that mean it's going to have a reset? Does that mean it has reset stat changes now? It may well do. I'm going to use Steel Wing. How much damage is it going to do now? It's going to do... Okay, pretty good. And there's my defense rising. Awesome. Please don't use Hydro King kill yourself now. I, I need you, Medicham. I need to catch you. Rocky Helm almost killed it. Fuck my life. It better get caught in this Pokeball. It better get... Oh, it's Ultra Ball, but it better get caught in it. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty darn destructive. Oh, dear. Oh, yep. Yeah. Critical Capture. Boom. Right there. Wacha! Critical Capture right when we need it. I mean, a Critical Capture on Groudon wouldn't have been too bad, but... <laughs> there we are. Nice and done. Who knew it's going to level up to? To level 46. What we got about you, Medicham? We could have had this data in the Pokedex, but no. Our Meditite died before it became a Medicham. Oh dear. Okay, let's go, and we shall call it something. Um, is it Tit Legs? It's called, but I can't really call it Tit Legs because Tit is probably not allowed. So I'm gonna call it Meda. Oops, that's terrible. Meda. Meda. Sweet. Okay. Meda the Meda Charm. That makes sense, doesn't it? Go to the egg box, just like Groudon. I guess we'll do that at the end of the end of today's episode. We'll hatch those two egg, two two eggs. Yeah, two eggs. Once we've gotten as far as through Victory Road as we can. We'll head back and hatch those two eggs there. There we are. We can get through now. Uh, push this one, one there, and then we can keep going there. I don't like how there are strength rocks that can't be like put into place, and they have to be constantly pushed time and time again. There's obviously an item here somewhere. Hopefully, there we are. PP up. Awesome. PP up. Pretty cool. PP up is pretty cool indeed. Okay. And I should really put a repel on, shouldn't I now? So I don't exactly want to find any more wild Pokemon because we don't need to. Faria versus... Oh dear, this could go badly. We're not going to be fast enough, are we? I'm going to need to switch into Nerfy. I do not want to... I don't want to try and run away because we're four times weak to fighting type moves right now and that would do a lot of damage. And I don't want to Mega because i got really nothing against it. So, Wake Up Slap is going to do nothing because I was not asleep either. And we're going to now... <laughs> hurt by Rocky Hammett, lol lol. And we're going to run away. Awesome. Okay. Let's get ourselves down here. Another trainer. Another wild battle coming up. Why did I not put repel on? I said to put repel on, but I didn't listen to myself. Well, this one's a lair on, so... Lair on versus Agron. I doubt it had a speed drop when it evolved, so... We did get away safely. Awesome. We're eight levels higher as well, so I didn't expect to be stuck here. But here we are. Let's go, young lady. Old lady, whatever. Your luck is about to run out. Your fate is to fall before me. Okay, old older lady. Let's do it. What have you got for me? Expert Brin has got herself a hit on top. Oh dear. Run away, Faria, run away. Indeed. Let's not stay in here because we don't exactly have anything against this hit on top. Let me switch out into I guess Nerfy. Definitely not Luke. Even though Luke needs to level up, definitely not Luke. Okay? <laughs> definitely not Luke. That would I would have to kill myself. Counter, I didn't actually attack you, so. Do I, I don't want to attack it now because it might use counter on us. Damn. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I guess I have to Earthquake. I can't really do much else. Earthquake. Let's go. It's going to want to kill it as well. Nice and crit. The crit came through when we needed it. I'm fine with that. Okay. What we got now? Throw. Uh, I mean, I guess I can just stay in. Because <laughs> I'm nice and defensive and I, I resist fine type moves as well. I mean, throw is pretty bulky too, so I'm going to have to Earthquake this thing a couple of times. Hopefully just two times. I mean, I guess we'll find out, but nope, more than... Oh, yep, yeah, three times. Circle Throw is going to send me out of battle, unfortunately. 
Send me into someone that's good against throw, please. Rocky Helmet hurt them, so they're pretty much in distance of being taken out by whoever. Hanu, I can use. They're going to be faster. And Nerve is not really much of help there. But Flamethrower is going to burn them out from where they are. We would be at a threat of actually getting hurt by them quite a lot. But since they're on low health and they're gone, not too much of a threat now. There we are. More experience than expert. Brim was defeated. No. No, she's very adamant. She does not want to be defeated, apparently. Okay. Let's head up here to the next area and let's get on with this uh boom yep straight up because i need to get my mega aggron leveled up please because it's pretty it's well it's him and luke are the only ones that or her and luke rather it's him a while well that's fine because i can get some neutral iron heads off against this thing and it can't touch me at all so that's quite nice mega aggron is a good counter to mega mawile i think unless can can mawile an earthquake i don't think it can can it i'm not even sure but anyway, here comes the Mega Agron. We have Filter anyway, so we should be able to just boss this thing out here. It's fast. It's going to stockpile. Okay. Okay, Mawal. I see you there. Well, I'm not too scared of your stockpile in Mawal, so I'm just going to Iron Head your face. Boom. It's going to take more than two, three turn, two turns, rather. But we'll get there in the end. Iron Head against me is going to do even less. Oh, oh. Battle of the Iron Heads here, and I'm going to win. And I'm going to win. Yeah. If anyone gets the reference there. You, I, I love you. You're going to use Swallow. Okay, my while. I see you there. How much are you going to restore, though? Absolutely nothing. And there's your defense dropping, <laughs> which means you can get bopped out by an ahead. Oh, my while. Oh, my while. Oh, my while. This is why you never use Stockpile or Swallow or anything like that, because it's absolutely terrible. Spit does no damage at all, actually. Literally, no damage. That's what it says on the power. No damage. Just zero. Anyway, it's gone. It's bopped. It's all good there. Let's continue onwards. Can we actually get through victory without having to use, um... Oh, hello, dude. You look alright for a kid. I can totally get into this. I'm not sure if we can get through victory without having to use Surf anymore. Because we're already over the Surf part. Um, so, Regan. Street Fug Regan. Possibly related to Street Fug Negan. A, re uh, a reference to the Pokemon, fr uh, not Pokemon franchise. The Walking Dead franchise. Because Negan is a bad guy there. Possible reference? I don't know. I'm not going to Mega. Because... I don't want, if they use a fire type attack and I'm a mega it means I'm going to take super effective damage from it. If I, if I stay normal, I can take neutral and I can get stab on rock slide as well, which is indeed going to take them out. So that's all good there. Nice and knowing, knowing when to mega evolve. Shift rate, I can stay in and keep battling. And now I'm going to mega, I think. Because obviously I'm, I'll take neutral, but I can resist if I don't mega. And I'm just going to iron head them first turn and I can always superpower after that. But here's the mega aggron. Ba boom. And let's see what you can do to me now. Leaf Tornado. Well, that's going to do... I mean, do I resist it? No, I don't resist it, unfortunately. Oh, no, I do resist it. My bad. Uh, my accuracy fell. Oh, my God. Really? Did that really just happen? It's how it always happens. My accuracy falls, and then immediately I actually miss a move. Another accuracy drop. This is going to get quite annoying, Shiftry. What are you doing, Shiftry? Screw you. I'm just going to go for... The, oh, you're going nasty plot. You're going a nasty plot on me, Shiftry. Well, if I can hit the superpower, I might be able to bop you out. I can hit the superpower. Absolutely brilliant. Leaf Tornado is going to do a lot more damage now, isn't it? Yeah, but we can still take it. Hit the superpower. Yes, we did. Bop. Get bopped, Shiftry. Oh, so bopped. Oh, so bopped. Get gone, dude. Get gone. And level 46 for Feria right there. Awesome. Well, Street Fighter Green was defeated. I underestimated you. Yep, you should have. It's easy, it's easy done. There's a lot to estimate. Okay. If anyone gets that reference, I also love you. Okay, Luke. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the right way to go or not, to be honest. I think it's just an item down here, but... Nope, there's a way down again. So, let's see what's down here again. Bum. 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 Dum. Da -da. I'm going to surf over the water to skip out these trainers. Because why the hell not? Um, don't, wait, I'm not allowed to surf anymore, am I? My bad. Okay. Right, I guess that's where we end up today, guys, because we did actually... Oh, no. Well, first, before we end up, I'll head back to the start, and we'll hatch those two eggs, like I said I was going to. Let's use an escape rope to make things a lot quicker. E for escape rope. Boom, there you are. Use it, and we'll get the hell out of here. Bop away. Back to the entrance of Victory Road, and we shall then go and hatch these two eggs. Let's do it, guys. Let's go hatch some eggs, boys and girls. Let's go hatch in some... Go hatch in some eggs. Okay, and we'll also have to put Prince in the dead box. Again, I don't know why Prince is holding a wide lens, because it actually doesn't help out at all. But, you know, YOLO it. Item take, boom. 
Okay. And we'll grab our Talon Flame out and put these away in the PC. Buh, 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 and grab our Primal Groudon. It's a quirky nature, which isn't brilliant. And the Metacham, and we'll grab. Oh no, wait, we have to grab. Uh, we have free Tatch actually, because there's a goal back from the episode before the Primal Groudon episode in C4 Cavern that I didn't hatch. So uh, the next one to go from is Box 7. Box 7. Okay, number between 1 and 30. And actually, need to get this because I haven't put it in. Number between 1 and 30. Let me write this down as well. Box 7 is going to be number 24. Then we're going to have, okay, actually need to put it in, don't I, rather than just doing it. 6, 12, 18, 24, boom. Then we get to box 1 again. Box number 1, go generate between 1 and 30. We have box number 20, <laughs> box 1, number 21, is the one that's going to be taken from Groudon. Ba, 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 ba. 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then from box, oops, don't do that. From box 2, we are going to have number... Number one, the first one in box two, awesome. There we are, and there's three eggs. So I guess I'll be back to you guys once these eggs are about to hatch. Well, this egg didn't take long to hatch. It was almost it was on the brink just as we just be end the last recording. So let's see what this one's gonna be. So this Pokemon is going to be a Zangoose. That's pretty powerful home Pokemon there. Nice and Zangoose. Let me see, box seven, number 24. Box 7, number 24, 6, 12, 18, 24. There's nothing in the box, so I'm guessing it's a non nickname one. I can't see anything in the box at least, so I shall just quickly color that. Boom. Uh, it's a female one. Uh, what do I call Zangus, man? Zanga, that'll do. You guys know I'm terrible with nicknames, but Zanga will do. Okay, well, that's the first egg. I think they're both the second two, or well, the second, the, the next two, are pretty far away from actually. Um, yeah, pretty far away from hatching, but I go, I'll be back when those two are indeed hatching as well. Here we go again. This is the third egg I think it is hatching, so it's not the one for Growlithe. It's the one, for the one we just caught in Victory Road. I wonder what's going to be this time, though. So, this Pokemon is going to be a... Poochiena, that's not bad. We have Poochiena already, but it's bad, you know, fair enough. Box 2, number 1, there's no nickname in there, so I'm going to have to choose it myself. Brilliant. I'm, I'm best at him, guys. You know this, my, you know this already. Female Puchina, Um I'm going to call it uh, Tess. Because that was the name of my first dog. And she was black and everything like that. So I guess that sort of works. I think uh, that was the third egg at least. It was indeed. And we'll see what the second egg is going to be. It's going to be almost close to hatching. So I guess I'll just wait around for it to hatch while I record because otherwise it's just a case of stopping recording, waiting for it to render or you know, compile and whatnot and then start recording again almost straight away. So this egg, I command the Hatcheroo. You know, Expelliarmus Hatcheroos. Happen? No? Okay. I want to see what Pokemon we're going to get for Groudon. Here we are. Okay, so the Pokemon we're going to get for our Groudon in this egglock is going to be a... Oh, that's powerful. That's powerful. Honedge, that's powerful. Box uh, 1, number 21. It's going to be called 6, 12, 18, 19, 20. D Joker. Okay. 21 there. Let's cut that one. And D Joker. It's a female. And let's go and pop these guys in the PC and see what we've got in terms of move sets and whatnot. And then we actually have to choose two or oh, one Pokemon, right? I didn't. I didn't to lose two Pokemon today, Jesus. I lost one Pokemon today, so I need to choose a water type because it has to have Waterfall and Surf to replace it. But a live box it is. In goes Zangus, Toxic Boost, and that's actually a perfect Zangus as well. That's not bad. Jolly as well. A Brave Nature, so that's a mixed Hone Edge, I think. And then a Puchiano of all the fangs. That's awesome. Okay. But let's put this back there. And then we shall choose a Pokemon to put on the team. Uh, we need a water type, pretty much. So. Lantern is there as a water type. Mud Plays is there as a water type. I'm going to choose Mud Plays because of the waterfall. Uh, it's going to be powerful to have. So I shall indeed choose Mud Plays to put on the team. So welcome Mud Plays to the team, everyone. And that's also gives us an opportunity of using a Mega Swamp on the team as well. So, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Egglock. As I said, I'll do some grinding off screen and then we'll, I'll return to you next episode where we shall enter Victory Road, defeat Wally, and head on to the Pokemon League. Thank you for watching this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye, my friends. Ah.